my YouTube channel. Thank you for clicking on this video and I hope you're enjoying Vlogmas so far because I really, really am. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, I feel like now I've got into a rhythm of, you know, making sure to do good content every day or what I think is good content. I hope so. You guys let me know. Um, and yeah, I just, I'm honestly loving it. I'm loving seeing your comments and the messages on Instagram. So thank you so much. Um, today is Monday, but it is a national holiday here in the UAE for National Weekend. It's kind of funny because usually they do a long weekend, but they do it like the Friday, like they do like the Thursday and the Friday off. And it's weird how it's fallen this year. It's the Monday off and only one day off. But anyway, for me, as I work for myself, it's not making too much of a difference um, because I do have a client in the UK who are obviously still working today. So I've just been kind of thinking, am I going to take a day off or not? And I think I am going to do some work today because I think I'll just feel better if I know I don't have things kind of hanging over me. Um, and it's been kind of a full on weekend. Like my friends are going to a beach club today just for some sun, but I think I need to just relax at home because it has been a full on weekend, like really good. But you know, when you just need to kind of like, I don't know, just relax. That's what I'm feeling today. I think I want to just do a bit of work, do some life admin, spend a bit of time relaxing. Um, I mean, to be fair, we've already had a bit of a lazy morning. Is it 10 o'clock? I think it's like, oh, it's literally half 10 on a Monday. So, <laughs> and we're barely just out of bed. It was a bit of a late night last night because our party was so much fun. Woke up to loads of messages on the group chat this morning. Everybody saying how much they enjoyed it, which was really, really nice. Um, everybody was raving about the pie that I made, which I'm really, really happy about because this was kind of a trial run for what I'm gonna be making on Christmas day. So it was a big fat yes. And this is even more um, kind of reassuring because all of our friends that came over aren't vegan themselves. So I do feel like some people can be a bit, not picky, but like when they know that something's vegan and they're not really into like vegan food, they can kind of be a bit like judging it before they've even tried it or I don't know, kind of have something, feel like something's missing from it. But nobody said that at all. Everybody had clean plates at the end of the meal, which I was really, really happy to see. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna message my dad and my sister and, and see what they think of doing uh, this Christmas pie for our Christmas day, which will be really fun. Um, but yeah, we also had amazing cocktails. Connor was in charge of cocktails. Um, you'll, you'll have seen them all in the video from yesterday, but they all were absolutely raved about as well on the group chat this morning, which was great. We did karaoke with games. It, things got a bit silly to be honest, but it was really fun. Um, and then yeah, before we know it, it was midnight and we were cleaning up and yeah, it was so fun though. Really nice to just be hosting at this time of year. And yeah, it feels so nice to be hosting in our apartment when we've taken the time to decorate it and that kind of thing. So really, really fun way to, yeah, kind of end the weekend and yeah, feeling good about going into December. It's already been so much fun. I feel like every single day of December so far has literally been so, so fun. Anyway, um, given that it was a late night and I've not been organized and... In fact, why am I even making excuses? I'm saying that as if I don't order Joe and the Juice literally like every week, but whoops, tripped and fell and I ordered Joe and the Juice. Let me just put you there for a moment so I can open it because usually my order is um, vanilla ice latte, which is like their, it's like their classic thing is the vanilla ice latte. And I love that, but I saw they've got a festive special and it's a gingerbread, gingerbread one. And I, they do have a hot one, but I thought I'll still get it iced because I do love an iced coffee. Um, I get it with soy milk and obviously with no whipped cream because it won't be vegan, but it still has the gingerbread syrup. And then obviously, you know me, I've got, got myself the um, avocado pesto sandwich, um, which is just so good. So let's do a little taste test of this gingerbread latte because speaking of festive coffees we had a toffee nut latte a few weeks ago that's the starbucks one but in like uk starbucks and us starbucks they do loads of other festive drinks and they only have the toffee nut latte here in the uae whereas i feel like if they did a gingerbread one oh my god 
It is so good. Oh my God, Connie, you have to try this drink. That is unreal. That is what I expect from a festive drink. Joe and the Deuce, 10 out of 10, well done. That is really good. That's way better than the toffee nut latte. That is lovely. And I feel like some of you watching are probably gonna be like, why is she ordering a coffee? Like, what do you mean? I'm like, yeah, it's delivery. I know, bit of a bad habit, bit lazy, but there's not a Joe and the Deuce in walking distance to us. And I don't know, maybe it's just a Dubai thing. Maybe, <laughs> I don't know. But it's a bit of a treat that's becoming a bit of a habit. Whoops. Breakfast is the avocado pesto sandwich. It just is, it really hits the spot. And I'm gonna watch a little bit of Gilmore Girls. You can see that I am on season three, nearly season four, and still loving it. So this is my chilled morning. And what I like to do, this is especially a thing, I think I've mentioned this before actually, you know, this, this concept of like bare minimum Mondays. <laughs> it sounds kind of bad when you say it like that, but it is a thing. I'll just fill you in in case you've not heard of the kind of TikTok trend of what this is. I think it's a very Gen Z thing. But basically to take the stress out of Mondays, which I often do find Mondays to be very stressful working for myself, it's kind of just like knowing that that can be a chill day, kind of like approaching it how you would a Friday. Um, so for me, my bare minimum Mondays often looks like ordering a coffee, sitting on the sofa to do my work, which usually I don't do, but more recently I have been doing. Having something on, lighting a candle, doing all the admin tasks that are just kind of easy peasy that don't require much brain power. But when you've actually see all that stuff ticked off your to-do list, it's like, yep, yeah, I'm still working. So that's my bare minimum Mondays kind of life hack. Lunch today is a very mini portion of yesterday's pie and mash and Brussels sprouts and braised cabbage. Just been heated up in the air fryer. So I have had some Black Friday deliveries. There is some boxes from Look Fantastic and from H&M. So I thought I'll do a little unboxing for you guys. And yes, I am still in my pajamas, okay? Sorry, not sorry. I know it's Monday, but it is a national holiday here. So I feel like being lazy. It has been a big weekend. And when the pajamas are this nice, I've been so excited to wear these. Um, this is what I picked up at Dubai Hills Mall the other day, um, which I also vlogged. And yeah, I'm buzzing with my new PJs. Oh my goodness, why is it so difficult to get into? So, I did a bit of shopping in the Black Friday sales. And I thought I'd show you what I got. So there's a few gifts in here and a few bits for me. Okay, first thing, this is a little gift set that I got for my sister Nora. Um, this is basically a heatless, heatless curling set and she is in year seven at school. I feel like, and her hair's gotten really long and I feel like I would have loved this when I was a bit younger because, well, the, girl on the girls on TikTok make it look really easy, but it's basically, you do this kind of thing. I'm sure some of you will have seen this kind of thing. So I just saw that in the Black Friday sale and thought that's such a nice little stocking filler. Um, I feel like curlers would be a bit too fiddly and she's not really that bothered, but something easy peasy like this, I think would be fun. Um, next up, okay, this is another present, although I must say it's so tempting to keep this for myself. This is the Emma Hardy, um, what do they call it? Moringa cleansing balm, which I have had before and I know how good it is. It smells literally incredible. This is like a mini version that you know how beauty brands do these little bauble kind of stocking fillers. So I've got this for my mum because she loves a bit of like expensive luxury skincare. This is certainly luxury, it's very expensive usually, but there was a good deal on for this little mini version. So I just thought really nice. Um, but funny, I think I mentioned this in one of my previous videos, how I'm sending a bit of a list to my family for what to get me. I literally said, please get me this because it's so, so good. Um, and I was remembering how good it was when I was shopping. So I thought that was a nice thing to pick up. Okay, next, I went a bit mad here, but just because they were on offer, these are for me now. Because they were on offer, I thought I'd just stock up. So I have the Lashify set, but to ship the Lash Lashify lashes, kind of the refills for them is um, just a bit of a faff and a bit expensive to buy. So I realised that Look Fantastic have these other Kiss like false scar lashes they're called. They're basically the same. I have used these before. And yeah, basically you just get through them. So I wanted to just stock up. I got loads of those. 
I got some of the more natural ones and I got some of the kind of dramatic drama ones. Um, I know they look a bit intense, but when they're on, I think they look really nice. So, okay, that's the box number one. I actually can't remember what else is in here. So let's see. Let's have a look. What's in box number two? Ah, okay. Yes, I do remember. It's quite boring. I basically just stocked up on shampoo while it was so cheap. So I got shampoo, which one is this? And I got two of the same, L'Oreal reinforcing shampoo, literally not that exciting at all, not very luxury, just cheap and quite good. And then I also got one of these masks. I went for a, to get my hair blow dried the other day and the guy doing my hair was like, you really need to use some masks. And I was like, okay. <laughs> It's blonde, being blonde is tough on your hair, so. And then the final thing, I just got some of this um, L'Occitane soap, just because it was really cheap in the sale, and I just thought, I love everything L'Occitane, it all smells amazing. Yeah, that smells gorgeous. So that's my little mini kind of sale, um, look fantastic sale haul. I am gonna wrap those little bits that I've got for my family as well to put them in our present, um, train. I'll show you what that is in a minute if you can't remember. Um, but first, let's open this up. I'm really excited about this because this is all for me. No gifts. Okay. So these are also hate net. These are also Black Friday um, finds. So some good deals. Okay, what should we go for first? Okay, first up, I got myself a little jumper. Ooh, okay, so it's quite cropped actually. What size did I get in this? I got this in a small. Okay, I don't know why, I just thought that would be a bit bigger than it is. It's very cropped. I'll do a little try on in a moment. Um, yeah, okay, I mean, I love the colours. It definitely feels nice and soft. It's not something I can really imagine putting on until I'm in England, because right now it's so, so sunny. But yeah, this was really affordable. Um, let me just check the price for you guys. Do they even have the prices on here? No, they don't. But I think in the sale it was something like 80 dirhams, so it was really well priced. And I just thought since I'm gonna be in the UK for I think two weeks, I need more jumpers basically. So I got two, I got that one. And then I got this one as well, which is kind of like an off the shoulder situation. Although this one does feel not as soft, it feels a little bit cheap, but that's because it is cheap. It was 99 dirhams, so yeah, I don't know. Let me try it on, but I feel like just by looking at it, I'm kind of like, hmm, I don't know, but let's see. But what I'm most excited about is the last thing. I got myself a new, oh my God, it's so heavy. I got myself a new winter coat. I'm just gonna have to try this on for you guys, so let me put some clothes on and I will give you a little try on. Well, I know I probably should be styling these pieces with like winter wear, but I literally don't have any winter wear. It's all in England. So I've just put my gym stuff on because me and Connor are gonna go do a workout after this shortly. But let's try on some of these pieces, shall we? So this is the off the shoulder one. And I think it's meant to be kind of like this. I might need to look at how the model is wearing it, you know? Or was it like one side like this? Okay, I feel like already this is a no. Like this just does not look cutesy how I thought it would look. Although I do love an off the shoulder. I do really like off the shoulder things, but just not this. <laughs> or maybe it's because I've got a sports bra on, but let me know what you guys think, but I think I can do better, even though it was super cheap. Okay, item number two. That other one, I literally showed it to Connor and he was like, it looks cheap. And I was like, no, it looks nice. And he was absolutely right. So maybe I should listen to him more. Okay, this next one, oh my goodness. There's a roll neck. Okay, it's just like smaller than I thought it would be. Oh no, it's cute. I kind of imagined it, imagined it to be looser, but now it's on, I actually feel like that's quite nice. I'm thinking with a little, skirts i've got like a little um faux leather skirt made with some tights and some boots that's quite cute i love a 
pink as well. And I do like a high neck. I think that's really nice and it's very cozy. It's so warm, I can't really keep it on. <laughs> and now the one I'm most excited for. Let's try on the coat. Okay, first of all, I love the color. I think it's very chic. I think this is gonna last me years and years to come. The quality feels really nice. Okay, the buttons are kind of like a popper situation. What size did I get in this? I got small. Oh my God, I feel like I love it already. <laughs> wow, oh my God, yeah, I love it. It's really nice. I was worried it would be too long for me. Let me just put you, put you there because I was trying to like see how tall the model is. Him way taller than me, but yeah, no, I really like this with a scarf and a little hat. That would be so cozy with boots. Wow, this is actually making me excited to be in some cold weather. Yeah, I really like this. This is 100%, 100% what I was looking for, for my trip to England, which is in two weeks. In two weeks time, we will be on a flight. Okay, Connor's requested to see the coat with the jumper. He says he can't visualize it because I've got <laughs> gym stuff on. So I may as well show you guys as well. Let me put this jumper back on because this is a keep. But I've literally just put the icon on high because, oh my goodness, it is not the weather for this here in Dubai. But <laughs> I will be super cozy when I'm in England. Oh my God, cute. Well guys, it's now evening, time for getting cozy. I had a good day at work. I managed to tick off um, most of my to-do list, which I'm feeling good about um, because yeah, this morning I was just like, how am I gonna focus on anything today? But yeah, we, we came back from our workout, um, got on a quick call with my client, which was good. Um, yeah, I did some work, like I said, and I've just been cooking just now. I really, really have got such a bug for cooking, warming, cozy, like winter meals at the moment. I'm just gonna put the Christmas tree lights on. That's better. Yeah, so to this evening I've made us a pasta bake and I don't think I've done a pasta bake for us yet, have I before? No, never. Mm -hmm. Because it is a little bit of faff because you've got to kind of do the sauce. The sauce is, is how I like to do it, I'll show you. and then put it in the oven so it's not the quickest weeknight meal but it should be good the result should be worth it so we're gonna have a pasta bake i'm gonna get out of the oven in a moment um and then i think tonight we're gonna watch home alone 2 which i must say is very high on my favorite christmas list films list christmas films list i don't know why i said but you, you get what i'm trying to say so I'm looking forward to watching that. Um, let's go get the pasta bake out of the oven and see how it's looking. Oh my goodness, the kitchen is so, so hot. Well, just got the pasta bake out of the oven. Oh my goodness, I think this looks unreal. I've just put the flash on so that you can really see <laughs> what is going on here. We've got like a vegan bolognese and a vegan cheese sauce. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited to eat. Oh my goodness, that looks absolutely perfect. Wow, guys, hot chocolate season has arrived in our apartment. Look at these mini marshmallows. <laughs> no, okay, all right. It's arrived, but now we're getting serious is what I mean. That looks incredible. We've also got the Oreos out, why not? And I also got this out of the fridge, which is this vegan chocolate. It is very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I just, you know, I thought I'd just put them on the table and see what happens. And we are gonna watch Home Alone 2. I don't know if I can film the film, but I could probably show just the top of the TV. that has got a cute little hat on. Festive. <laughs> it's actually a Graham takeover this evening. Um, hi guys, I'm about to have my hot chocolate. I'm watching Home Alone. Jokes, it's just me.